All right, this little video is going to be how to make a wire pigtail bearing for an indoor duration model airplane. Uh, I'm making this for a mini stick, so I'm going to be making the pigtail bearing out of O10 music wire. Uh, the prop shaft will also be O10 music wire, therefore I'm using an O11 mandrel uh, in my jeweler saw. And all this is is a piece of O11 wire chucked into a vise and mounted into a little jeweler saw. So the first step is to take your wire and we're going to make the, be making the front end of the pigtail bearing and just wrap the wire around the mandrel two times. There you go. So now you have two wraps right around the way. You could do one or two or three. You'll be shaving the front off to make it flat for the propeller. So I want to get a little bit of an angle here in the front, so I'm just going to be bending this over. Okay, still flowing pretty loosely. Now we got to make a bend. This is going to be the top of our bearing that mounts into the motor stick. And I'm going to make a bend southward with that. See, now we have our double bend over here, and then we have another bend here. This is going to be pinched a little closer, because I want this to come down fairly at a 90 degree angle there. And this is the critical part. Actually, I want the wire to be on the other side here because I want my props to wind in the right way. Now, try to do this around the camera here. Now we wind our pigtail. Which the best way is to try to grab both wires with a good nose, pair of needle nose pliers and then wrap the pigtail around a couple of times we will cut it to length in a minute. And then I'm going to trim the front. Again I'll clean it up again later. And then I'm going to trim the back. And right now we're pretty bound up in there so what I'm going to do is just try to give a little bit of squeeze to that. So open up that pigtail a little. Get a little squeeze on both sides. Alright, that's not too bad. Now I'm going to take it out of the mandrel, trim it to length, and put it back in again, and see what I get. So now I'm just going to take the end, and just trim that off. And now thread it back in again. Ah, I miss my eyes terribly. And let's see what we get. Check it back in, put some tension on the bearing. Nope, we're not quite in. Okay, now we're in. This end here is the culprit. Right there is the culprit. Let's just squeeze that in a bit. There we go. getting there. And I think I want to open that pigtail up a little bit. I'm just going to grab it here and then 
untwist it just a little. It's still binding. from the front. There we go. Get me with binding in the front. So there we go. Now you have a very free moving pigtail bearing. And the back will hold on okay. I don't see any slop. There we go. Easy piece, and now I gotta take it off. I'm gonna I grind the front end a little bit flat on a little Dremel cutoff wheel, just grind all that last little bit off, and the rear of the pigtail just stays the same and it mounts in the front of the model. So that's it. How to make a wire pigtail bearing for a, an indoor duration model airplane. Now, if you really want to impress the ladies, try a reverse pigtail bearing. Let's let me trim this out of the way. The idea being the bearing going this way gives you a little bit more room for the motor stick. So let's see, a little trickier to do this one. We'll get a bend up. We'll get a bend going that way. Now it's just kind of tricky with this camera in my way here. All right, the idea is you gotta thread the wire through the bearing. grip on the bearing while the wire is going through. There we go. Got that, got that. And now bend. And there we go. Press it a little bit. Let's get it off. Now we'll show you how to grind it down. Just grind that flat. trimmed. 